Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to draw a praying mantis in charcoal. Let me take you through the drawing process step by step. First I'm going to do the sketch using a graphite pencil and then I'll switch to charcoal pencils to shade it and I'm going to work uh, at one part of the body at a time. The materials I'm using Master Touch woodless charcoal pencils, and I'm going to be working on uh, Fabriano sketching paper about five times eight inches in size. I'm also going to use some erasers and brushes and tutilians. So it's a very unusual looking insect, although all insects are unusual in their own way, I suppose. But some would even say that this is a menacing looking one, I, I guess. The reason why it's called the praying mantis is because, the, because of the front legs which are positioned in, in such a way so that it looks like it's praying. And here I already switched to the charcoal pencil. I'm using a medium charcoal pencil and I'm drawing these antenna. And the medium charcoal pencil, by the way, I have two grades, the medium and the soft. The medium charcoal pencil can be sharpened to a very fine tip, so I'm going to use it for most of the drawing process. And I can actually draw some pretty fine details with it. It's not as good as the graphite pencil for that, but uh, I can draw some pretty fine details with it. So I moved on to the head the eyes and the mandible and I'm trying to put in some details there it's not going to be super detailed but I will try to define most of the the most important parts of the body Um, it's going to appear maybe a little bit darker too, that's because I'm working in charcoal and that's also because I want to increase the contrast so that I could maybe um, explain certain shapes to the viewer a little bit better. So maybe in terms of the value it's going to be just a little bit darker than most praying mantis mantises that you would see in nature, even though they do vary in terms of colors. I have to tell you I was surprised when I, I I was fascinated with insects when I was a kid by the way and when I caught my first praying mantis it wasn't green it was actually uh, it was actually a light yellowish dull yellowish color kind of like hay color so I was kind of surprised to see that and later I I found one that was more brownish in color, so their, their colors, as, as the colors of many other insects, tend to vary quite a bit. Now I'm drawing these front legs, and the, there's the interesting thing about the shape of the body of this animal. Uh, insects normally have three segments, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Here the thorax is kind of elongated, if it is the thorax, but I'm guessing it is. It's kind of elongated and it looks like a neck. It looks like a really long neck, uh, like a giraffe or some animal like that. And the first pair of legs is on that elongated part of the thorax. Like I said, I think it's the thorax. I don't see what else it could be, but I'm not an expert. So the first pair of legs, these front legs, are kind of bent in such a way so that it looks like the animal is praying, and so it, it, that's the way it, probably it's got, it, it, it's got its name, praying mantis. So that's one of the things that this uh, insect is known for. Moving on to the other pair of legs here. You can see how I'm able to draw some very, very thin lines uh, with a medium charcoal pencil. I need to keep it really sharp. And I have to admit that if I went for a graphite pencil rather than charcoal pencils, this would probably... There would be some advantages because I would be, it would be much easier for me to draw details 
But then again, with charcoal pencils, it's always so much easier to establish those darker values and to create stronger contrasts. But, you know, I just decided to uh, work in charcoal as I do most of my drawings in charcoal, so charcoal it is. But if you wanted to do it in graphite, I think it would still be a great looking drawing and probably a more detailed one as well. Uh, so as you can see, I'm kind of moving from one part of the body to the other and I'm still, uh, I'm always kind of going back and refining some of the details which I already covered. And for blending, I'm using the tutilion. It's a homemade tutilion and I can roll these into a very fine tip and this helps me <clears throat> blend in those smaller areas uh, where it would be difficult to blend with some other less precise tools. Here I'm not going to use anything other than pencils, uh, I'm not going to use uh, vine charcoal or willow charcoal or anything. I'm just going to use my charcoal pencils and for the most part I'm going to use a medium charcoal pencil and maybe here and there I'm going to use a soft charcoal pencil for some of the darker areas because the soft one is the uh, a little bit darker so <clears throat> it will help me increase that range of value. So this is the other hind leg here it's on the other side of the body and we can barely see any of it and it's kind of bending so that uh, we can't see the full shape so I'm doing a little bit of shading there adding a bit of shadow under the belly uh, so I started talking about uh, the insect itself I started talking about the praying mantis as I'm moving on to this belly area here. Uh, the thing that uh, the insect is best known for probably is the fact that the female eats the male after mating. Or so we've been told. Later I found out that this is not always the case, that when they studied the insects in captivity, this happens almost every time. But in nature, it doesn't really happen that often. In nature, it maybe happens uh, one out of four or five times. <laughs> so those are still not great odds for the male praying mantises. Uh, sex is kind of costly for them, I suppose. Or it doesn't have to be. Uh, anyway, I'm now refining some details using a pencil eraser. And the pencil eraser I'm using is a Kohino eraser and a pencil. It allows me to draw some lighter details, lighter lines with precision. Like for example the edge of those wings and some other details. I'm also putting in some of the darker details using a soft charcoal pencil. I'm just making some of the shadow areas even darker, going over the dark areas, adding a little bit of extra value. That increased range of value makes everything appear more three-dimensional. I also added some details on the belly area or the abdomen area and then I pulled some lighter details using a pencil eraser again and then did a bit of cleaning up around those antenna because I wanted to fix their shape a little bit. I had to do quite a bit of cleaning up with my kneaded eraser not just uh, not just because this uh, insect has a lot of fine details so I, I need to do a lot of cleaning up cleaning the edges like I'm doing here and um, cleaning some some other details but also because my kneaded eraser got a little bit messy uh, the kneaded eraser is better for cleaning up generally speaking because it doesn't leave any residue but on the other hand uh, when you've used it a lot when it picks up a lot of charcoal and I work in charcoal a lot and my kneaded erasers tend to pick up a lot of charcoal uh, sometimes they leave a little bit of a mess and you need to try to keep them clean or knead them more often. 
Here I'm using a loaded brush, a brush with a little bit of charcoal residue and pulling it gently to create a bit of shadow under the mantis. I'm not going to draw any background, I just want to make everything appear a little bit more three-dimensional. That's why I added a bit of shadow. And now I'm pulling some uh, finishing touches uh, with a pencil eraser on this wing area and just cleaning up some of the other shapes, other edges around the legs and some of the other smaller finer details. Overall it's not a very challenging drawing I think. Uh, the reference will be in the description if you want to check it out. It's not a particularly challenging drawing, it's just that um, it's charcoal so it's a little bit more difficult to draw smaller things with finer details than it is with graphite or colored pencil. But the drawing is almost done here. I'm just going to do a little bit more refining and a bit more cleaning up. And I also want to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already and to give me a like, comment on my videos. I've already done a number of videos uh, with the drawings of insects so I'm going to put those in the end screen if you want to check those out as well. And of course as always if you want to see more content and longer videos as always my Patreon. So these are just some finishing touches. I'm going to put my signature here on the left side. And that I think is it. A little bit of cleaning up. So there's my drawing of a praying mantis. I hope you enjoyed the video. And of course I'm going to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.